Hello and uh, welcome to my Audio Essentials series. This is going to be um, a couple part series about Ableton Live 8. Uh, some of the uh, bare essentials, the very basics uh, of Ableton and uh, how we can use them to make some pretty sweet uh, songs. So why don't we get started. Just going to boot up Ableton Live here. And uh, first thing you see when you turn this on is uh, the basic interface here. We have um, the session view uh, as the default. Um, there's also an arrangement view, um, which is more better uh, for audio clips that you like to edit. Uh, session view is kind of more for um, live performances. You can actually uh, switch between these two views by pressing the tab button, go back and forth. Nice handy hotkey there. Um, if you look on the left side, actually I should direct you to the very bottom left. Um, this pane down here is very, very important. Um, this will let you know what exactly you are uh, hovering over. It's a kind of like a quick help guide um, at all times. It's uh, very reliable, so um, make sure that that is always around uh, to help you out. Um, but if you go slightly above it, you'll see this big window here, and this is where all the magic happens, I should say. Um, as you can see right now, I have live devices uh, uh, picked uh, currently, and you'll see that there's uh, a set of folders here with instruments, MIDI effects, and audio effects. Um, this is where all the default effects uh, in Ableton Live uh, are stored. Um, as you can see, there's a variety of default uh, effects that come with Ableton Live. We'll be getting into those a little bit later on uh, in a later tutorial. It's also MIDI effects as well as instruments. So we will get that uh, to that later. Um, there's also, you'll see here on the far, far left, uh, more buttons you can pick. Um, a set of three folders. Now these folders you can assign uh, to your liking. Um, and I actually do have that right now. Uh, the first folder for me, at least, is the, uh, the Ableton library. Uh, and you can see I have some instrumentals and some acapellas here in the library that I've uh, downloaded uh, in my own time uh, as well as there's Ableton defaults here such as templates, samples, presets, lessons, grooves, defaults, and clips. Uh, moving on, uh, I have my documents set here. Like I said, you can customize these to whatever you want. Um, and I also have my Ableton folder uh, in my documents as well. And then finally, the third folder, once again, completely customizable. I have mine set to workspace. If you want to customize these, uh, you go up here to the top, the top bar, uh, and you can click on here, and there's some, uh, some options for you. Like I said, I have my documents, workspace, uh, and library set to these. Uh, desktop can be very handy. Um, if you're working with a lot of things, downloading things, and um, you just want to put them all on the desktop, you can click on the desktop. I don't have anything on my desktop right now, that's why uh, nothing's showing up, but uh, that's very handy as well. So, um, so uh, moving on, uh, the very top here, um, this is a very important part of the, uh, the window here. We have uh, obviously a play, a stop, and a record button. Um, there's also, this is called an overdub button, uh, and this involves MIDI, uh, when you're working with MIDI. Um, basically tells you, tells the program that you want it to play the MIDI uh, files. Um, we also have some uh, some other options here, we won't get into them for right now. Um, on the far top left, right beneath the file, edit, um, all those uh, good things, you have the B per minute counter, uh, the tempo as they call it. Um, this is very important, you can uh, assign uh, what B per minute you want your, your file to be just by clicking and uh, dragging either uh, up or down uh, obviously up increasing the B per minute down decreasing um, you can also tap uh, the B per minute by clicking on this button here tap uh, if you go at a certain one it'll it'll measure it for you um, so if that's to your liking you can do that um, there's also 4-4 four, four time here. You can assign uh, what signature you want it to be in, uh, which is very important. Also, there's the uh, the metronome here on the far right. Um, if you highlight that, 
you'll actually see that uh, I had a file playing um, and it'll count uh, for you turn that off and I'll hit stop um, another quick thing is if you double click the stop button you can see I'm 17 uh, beats or measures uh, into my file if you double click the stop button it'll bring you all the way back 111 as you can see uh, which is very handy when you're trying to work uh, with a bigger file so um, I think uh, I think that's it for now um, we'll go on to more intricate uh, things in the next tutorial as well as actually getting started and uh, messing with some files so thanks for watching